Well, there was a chance to work with Bill Condon, whom I admire greatly. He wrote and directed Gods and Monsters, <coughs> which I thought was one of the better films I had seen, excuse me, about five years ago. And I thought Kinsey was a very, very interesting man, a pioneer, pioneer spirit, someone who wanted to better mankind by supplying knowledge because he saw a gap in knowledge, that knowledge being human sexuality, of what we do with each other and to each other. How do you see the character? Because in, in some people certainly think he's a controversial character. What would you say to critics who say, you know, perhaps you're making a hero out of him in this movie? The movie is not making a hero. We're showing warts and all. We're showing the man, uh, the research he got up to, with his limitations. Uh, but he was a superb, supreme scientist. That's not to put him on a pedestal. He and was he most did certainly was very, very important, and it was groundbreaking. And people are still terrified of hearing it now, which is, I think, I think is the answer to your question. That people are still frightened of this stuff, and that's why they want to uh, do it now. Pe people are always yeah. frightened of, of of knowledge, of knowing more. There are some people who'd much rather close the doors and uh, be cozy in their, you know, homespun opinions um, that make them feel safe. You know, it's true, I mean, at a t you know, this film was obviously set during the 40s and 50s. What is it about it now that's going to make it resonate today? Oh, I think look at the world around us, you know. If sexuality is still such a huge can of worms. And, it's uh, controversial. And people are still full of prejudice and ignorance. I did, there were a bunch of things I didn't know till I saw this movie. I was like, oh, I thought I knew. Just finally, if I can ask, you know, this is, the, um, you have played real life characters before uh, a few times. Is that sheer coincidence or is something about those characters that really appeals to you? They're usually the best scripts I've read. It's just a coincidence they happen to be about people who have lived or uh, affected society in some way, but I'm proud to have done it. You know?